Hello, everybody. I'm Buddhister Bob, along with Ben Magnus, Commissar Roach, more direct. Say hello, gentlemen. Hello. 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 We are playing some more Supreme Ruler, but not just any Supreme Ruler. Supreme Ruler of the Great War, World the War One, the First World War, if you will. The, the Great uh, War. Or, you know, uh, World War, you know, 2 Alpha, I suppose, is what you could call it, because not everyone actually, like, knows that there's a World War One apparently. Uh, it's the, it's the Bigly War. The Great War. It was a really great war. It was, what? it was, the, it was one of the greatest wars. Or if we're going to yeah. use lingo from the day, it was quite a bully war. <laughs> none, of, none of us are English. Come on, Bob, get on the trolley. <laughs> none of us are English. <laughs> bully was an American thing. Yeah, yes, that uh, I think Theodore I think that was a no. little before this though. Uh, no, they used it during this. They used it during this time. I thought this was like uh, kind of a. I thought that was kind of a late 1800s kind of shtick. That lasted until the uh, the early 1900s. I feel like I sh we should use that more often. Bully, bully. No. Uh, okay, so <laughs> what? Well, let's actually play the game. Um, take a look at our. Wow, that's a really. I I'm used to. 2017 numbers. Woo! So yeah, I'm playing as Germany, Commissar Roach is playing as Austria, Hungary, Ben is playing as the Auto Bros, and then mm. there's Mordred playing as Bulgaria, question mark? Yep. <laughs> Bulgaria strong. <laughs> it's just, oh, it seems like one of the strangest things is having Bulgaria there. It's just like... We hail our uh, ISIS okay. overlords. Uh, someone in my chat just asked, "What's the, what are the new what, what what are the ducats on my stream?" Um, I haven't finished setting it up though, but stream ducats are going to be a way to like um, uh, toggle uh, like music clips and sound effects and and like in stream games and stuff like that. Um, but I haven't finished setting it up, and I forgot I left that on. So it's just it just you you're just accruing ducats for future use right now. Okay. All right. So research. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. Uh. I got. I got one. Shit. Oh, I'm pulling again. Yeah. Yeah. You are. All righty. So capital ships, pre-century cruiser, merch. No, don't. No, that's not important. No. Nope. Well, at least there's not a lot to research. There's not a lot of doodles. Um. Sorry about that. I agreed to something. Assembly lines. The the idea for for ducats is um is to like hey uh, you know you know you get like a ducat a ducat a minute you get like a ducat for every cheer and then you can spend a hundred ducats to hear Bob scream I demand blood and vengeance in my stream. Uh, Why am I yelling in your stream? <laughs> well, I've got you got a lot of great good, quotes. And it's, and it's really yeah, it's really good. Um, rigid airships. Oh, it's the wave of the future. I'm, excuse me, sir. We call those dirigibles. <laughs> well, no, no. There's a difference between a dirigible and an airship, isn't there? Is it a dirigible just the one that's a big inflatable balloon, and the rigid airship is like the Hindenburg? No, I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. I think I think that's specifically what a uh, a dirigible is: is a rigid airship. Somebody look that up. Hey, wait. Fuck this. <laughs> Siri, what's a dirigible? Why is it British? Why, you, Why is it British? Why what is the fuck? it British? Did you plan this? Did you plan this? <laughs> no, no, it's just it's just always British. That's I don't it. believe you. Would you buy it, it uh, in London? An airship, an airship or a dirigible balloon? Let it in there. Oh, All right, let's look at the whole page here because I still think I'm right. It's just it's the fucking it's the fucking space station argument all over again. Yeah, but now Wikipedia can weigh in, and we all know that if it's on Wikipedia, it's right. It's gotta be true. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The snark it got to. I, rem I remember once I was. Yeah, fuck this. I'm, I'm, I'll look that up later. Um, <laughs> uh, I remember once I was. You, you, you ever like go look up something on Wikipedia and then spend two hours just clicking on links? Yeah, isn't there a game for that now? Like it, it's kind of like Six Degrees or whatever. I think it's Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, but it's it's on. Wikipedia, so you there's a d subject that you have to get to, but it drops you on a random Wikipedia page, and then you have to get to the <laughs> subject. And uh, the quicker, you, the less clicks you do, the better are, uh, the better your score is. Which uh, I think is a very fun game. <laughs> All right. So first things first, I need wood. 
Hey guys, we can research land warships in a non-ironic way now. Oh, well, not me. No, it's still ironic. It's just useful. Um, what was I going on about? God, I forgot already. Oh right, well uh, I was uh, you know trolling around on Wikipedia, and I remember I ended up on a page for black holes, and uh, like one of the first lines uh, in it said that a black hole was only dark because. Uh, um, a fuse blew on the inside and they couldn't find a battery for the flashlights. And I was just like, uh, it's on Wikipedia, so I know it's right, but that doesn't sound right. Why do I have so many glow rocks in 1914? I mean... Do we have uranium supplies? Uh, oh, well, I have a uranium supplies. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Copy paste. Yeah, totally copy I don't that. know. I think, actually, yeah, you're probably right, because I don't... I, I, well, but you have the ability to build uranium mines right now, so... Like, there is the ability well, to just... research isotope principles right now as well, so... Sure, I've discovered a source of free energy. You just take these rocks and rub them on the body and they're warm. <laughs> They'd probably burn you in this time period if you, <laughs> if you made that happen. All right, so, uh, coal mine... That's a good start. How do I road? Um, uh, go down t uh, to build and then transport. Date land. Oh, I could just right click and build. Okay, yeah, transport. There it is. Um, Railways rail cheaper. Rail lines. Though. Rail lines are cheaper, and this is in the I, middle of. No I way. have I have starting towed artillery that looks an awful lot like it's self propelled. <clears throat> yeah, there's at least one model bug. That's got nice. got a Mercer 10, 210, 2, 210 millimeter toad here that looks awful lot like it's an SPG of some kind. All right, gotta okay. Note to myself: everybody's gonna be working on nukes, so gotta work on that nuke program. Yeah, and no, I don't have artillery. I don't have. I don't even have the ability. I have to research artillery before I can do anything. I would strongly recommend you buy it. That's what, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's happening. That's on the list of things to do. Um, alrighty. So we're, we're making we're coaling. So sure. now let's let's timber. So out of interest, what were your starting budgets? Uh, I have uh, two hundred and forty-one million. Or is it billions? Yeah, it's millions, isn't it? Millions. 50, millions here. Fifty-seven million dollars. I have four hundred eighty-five million. Eleven million. Oh yes. Oh Very yes. Strong. Someone's poorer than me. <laughs> it's Bulgaria, Ben. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta hold on to something. That's like pointing a finger at like a homeless child and just going like, ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have I researched gunpowder? I do have, I do have uh, boomsticks. We're not that backwards. I mean, it's nineteen. 14, so it said it took me a little longer than it should have to realize the date for World War I. <laughs> I All did right, wonder um, if you were I think I'm okay time. to to, to un, undoodle. Then undoodle yourself. Well, don't you control the passage of time, oh, oh, Jesus, oh Jesus? Everyone controls the passage of time. Oh, what happened over here in Constantinople spelled with a K? New alliance formed with the Bulgarians. Yes. I'm making alliances with all the people. Wait, why, why, why are you setting me shit? Because I don't want them. They're more ships. You need them more than I do. I don't want them either. I all mean, right. you, you have one of the largest coastlines of all of us. Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to defend it against the British, no matter how many patrol boats I have. Do you want them Austria? Germany? Okay. I'm selling patrol boats, because I don't want to pay for them. Austria's got a pretty big navy. I'm good. I'm not going to use it, but, I mean, it, I, I'm, I'm good with All what right, I've got. so Russia is over here. Good job, Ben. <laughs> so that means... Uh, <laughs> that means... Alert level reduced. Okay, everybody stand down. So, Roach, are you going to get all mad about the Archduke being be dead? I mean... Because we have a very, very, very small window to decide what is going to happen. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're correct on the small window bit. And uh, the fact that uh, I have not deployed my ground forces uh, 
Okay, there we go. I don't need your charity right now, Bulgaria. Aw, I just don't want to pay for them. Oh, right, I'm not so... going to pay for them. Scrap them. Man, it's interesting having a real country. Real ish. Oh, That's, uh, I don't know if you can consider first. yourself a real country. I said real ish. Uh, okay, transport, rail lines. Well, uh, yes, we are angry about uh, the assassination of, uh, of Franz Ferdinand, so uh, uh, for purely training purposes, the entirety of the Austria of Austria-Hungary's military is uh, is deploying to the to the Serbian border for training purposes only. Well, yeah, obviously. For the war, All we're right, going to so start with them. Obviously, I mean, we've got to train are, for are, it. Are Are you saying? War, war, we're going to war. Uh, no, eh? Ben. Eh? No. Eh? Eh? Get it? Eh? Yes, Ben. I yeah, I, get it. I get it. <laughs> out of all right. out of all of your friends, I think I I, I think <laughs> you're the one. That I think gets it. yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, uh Russia's gonna be a thing. Don't, so don't confuse not getting it with internal like you know head hung low like heavy sigh. Uh, I'm conflating the two. Um, let's see. Supply to pot. We. Oh, you want the design? Okay. Yeah, I thought so you were asking for like them. a like a single artillery piece. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like what are you gonna do with it? Put it on a pedestal in the middle of town? Like what do you? This is artillery. <gasps> Thank you. All right. Now so I can I'm gonna turn. Units. I'm gonna turn the two towns on the Russian border into supply depots. Or also supply depots. Dirk, I'm I'm gonna have I'm gonna have just uh yeah no, it's gonna give me a fucking stroke just if you keep calling him that. <laughs> I remember what was I saying in uh Stellaris <laughs> that made you stroke out. It's uh you, you kept mispronouncing physics. You were like physics. Yeah, physics. Yes, <laughs> yes, Ben. Uh... <laughs> oh, very good. See, <laughs> Marjorie likes it. Yeah, I like it. Um, it's amusing. Hey, Bob, Bob, remember that time we were playing uh, Hearts of Iron 3 and we would, we were saying Maganot and people were getting furious? I fucking had that the other day in my stream where I called it Maganot. It's just like <laughs> apparently people weren't in on the joke. I was just like, are you serious? Like, really? Um, I have a question for all the people who have more experience in this game than I do. Um, the I don't know who the, you're talking to. Any, all of you guys. Oh. <laughs> uh, with maybe the exception of Mordred, but I think he has played this more than I have, so he might know. Um, the strip of blue land between, like, uh, you know, on both sides of the Bosphorus. What is that? That is a, it, it's a puppet of yours, but it's uh, it's like a neutral entity, so anybody can, like, tra traverse it right now without fear of getting shot. Ah, uh, it's like, they had they had a meta... The, the the crossing there. Yeah, the yeah. It's like yeah. it's like your shipping authority kind of. It's like, oh, okay. I don't know how else to describe it. It's it's just a puppet of yours, which as soon as you go to war with somebody, they will also go to war with that individual too. Mm -hmm. How long yes. until the new to the new Magnus line? Well, this is World War One, where like static defenses yeah. were a thing. Yeah, it could actually so be useful. Who knows? I don't. Where would it go? The Caucasus. Uh, well, I mean, the Caucasus. I'm building. I'm not gonna go crazy in the Caucasus. I be, I uh, I got a rail line built up to the uh, the Russian border. The well, building, building or yeah, I was building. Gonna say. Um, it's not there now. I there are two towns on uh, basically both uh, on on opposite ends of that frontier. So I'm turning both those towns into like max level supply depots. So it'll propagate supply you know towards each other. And then I'm going to put infantry in when I get can artillery and probably maybe some trenches up there, but nothing else other than that. I don't think. You can build trenches, yes, and, and I mean you can build the trenches, and they're actually a thing. So Magnus lined it up. Well, the Mag Magnus line was very sad last time. It no, it, it never got didn't touched. Get use. It never got. It got. It got. We we put billions. A Russian billions. never got within a hundred kilometers no. of that line. <laughs> no, <laughs> I would probably say it was longer than. I, I would say probably it was more like 200, 250. The entire uh, breadth of what was it? Latvia was the was the yeah. nation. So yeah, it's like the entire breadth of Latvia. They only pushed in like a a couple kilometers when they at their mm. most and that was the closest a russian ever got to the polish border <laughs> my chat just goes easiest way to defend gallipoli in port emus 
<laughs> lol, 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 lol. Get it? There are multiple references going on for the joke. Aha. Uh -huh. It's layered. I'm going to assume the person that said that's a Midge fan. Because... Because that's his big thing, isn't it? Is the, is the emu empire, and also because because that's a big joke. I like how the uh, the 3D models just like it, it looks like they're all they they don't actually they they're not animated at all. It looks like they're just all standing on those moving platforms at the airport. They just all have wheels. <laughs> all the all the horses are toy horses with wheels under the hooves. God, I can, I can just imagine Ben's complaining now because literally the majority of your army is going to be foot infantry. There's no there's no way around it, Ben. Hey, I never had any issue with with the foot infantry. You really? guys were making fun of my foot infantry. No, really, because you I made a reference. You made a reference to those engineers once every episode for like five episodes. <laughs> Well, it was just because my chat kept asking, so I'd be like, they would be like, "Where's your your engineers?" And I go and check, and I'd be like, oh, "Still walking through Latvia." It was an entire saga of the engineers. It was brilliant. What What was funny about the engineers was that the uh, the front was moving at about the same pace that, that the engineers were. So what would happen was a supply depot would would start construction, and then they would walk to it, and then it would finish, and then be like, "Oh, but we took some more land, and there's a new supply depot up there. Go to that one." They'd get to it, and it'd be finished, and just repeat. So, uh, is Egypt a thing I'm going to have to worry about? They're, are they a British possession at this point? Uh, yes. If right. you click on Egypt, you'll see that they have a little oh, yeah. union back next to them. They, they, they got a little, uh, they got branded. They got, they got the brand. Um, well, uh, So when did the, when did World War One historically start? Does anybody know this? Nineteen fourteen. I mean, I think it was, it was Jul third week in July. I want to say. Uh, well, that's. Uh... Yeah. Roach, you'll 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 be given an option to do things. Yeah. Siri, don't worry. When did World it War One off. start? Twenty eighth of July. Hey, I was right. That that's, that feels weird. Good then. Uh... That'll give my uh, that'll give these foot infantry enough time to get out of the wilderness of uh, west or eastern Austria-Hungary. We'll actually get to their positions in time. God, is the rail? How bad is the rail network in Austria-Hungary? I guess there's no way to model the issues that they actually had with the rail network, though. Yeah, there's, there's no real way to do that. Actually, it's it's a pretty it's pretty good. The, the, I, I would actually say the one the biggest complaint I have is there's there's a lot of rivers. Um. And not a lot of bridges. <laughs> not a lot of bridges. And uh, there's some really annoying yeah. rivers. River crossings matter a lot more right now in, in this than it, it will and or it did in uh, Supreme Ruler where we just had amphibious everything. Yeah. So, so Ben, <laughs> if you want to know how much of a problem I have, it, go, at go. least At least I did. I don't know about anybody else, but go Germans to, are just like, rivers? Who gives a shit? Go to Serbia, oh, Ben, yes. and look at their capital and look at the only way I can get to their capital. It is a okay. single railroad bridge across yeah, sort of... the river. Oh, yeah, I see that. They're right there. Yeah, the entire rest of that river, no crossings. Literally the entire border. I have to... Oh, I... Rommel. Yeah, Sorry. so it is... Uh, it's kind of a bitch. I, I got I got more of a, a desert situation going on in my area. Well, I mean, Ben, you Supply are the Ottomans. not as bad as I... It's... Supply's really not as bad as I expected it to be, though. Actually, that's the biggest problem I have, actually, I would say, is my supply. Because uh, although everything is green-tinted, you can definitely tell if you go to, like, Budapest and uh, uh, and just the capital. You can definitely see a difference from yeah. that and everywhere else in my country. I, I kind of wish there was a slow... Like, uh, when you put it on supply map mode... Maybe it, it kind of like uh, put the the background map in like a monochrome or something like that, grade it out a little bit. Because if your country's green and your supply is you you know a hue of green, and you're playing in a country in Europe, it could be a little uh, hard to see what what exactly is going on. Like if you look at my area, it's super easy to see where there is supply and where there isn't supply. But if you go to to Roachland, it's just like uh, I, I can't tell if this is a forest over here, or... maybe. What? It's just like... <laughs> Full stock of accordions here, sir. 
If we were putting my checkos, if you were playing Hearts of Iron 4, you'd have modern tanks by now. <laughs> if memory serves, I don't even start with any supply depots. Uh, I think I got some near Actually, my caps. Yeah, that's the first thing I built was, uh, was I think, four uh, like clusters of supply depots. Oh, to be should. able to afford that. Yeah, I have no supply depots, except for the one I just built in Sofia. Uh, I'm going to put some in the Middle East. I'm going to maybe put one or two down in the Middle East. I do, however, have an Air Force. Bob, how is your Air Force? I was actually... oh, the, we, we, <laughs> <laughs> It's like three Barnstormers is what it is. I have... Well, they're all patrol aircraft, as they, as they would be at this time. Yes. Uh, some of them have, you know, two wings. I mean, have, how many do you, uh, you have? Know, four wings. Roxicon. I have seven of them. You have seven. Hey, you have more than double my Air Force. I probably have more than anybody currently in their out in existence right now. I, uh, well, in 19... How big's your, the, the, how big's your the Navy? The British have five. I know that. I have three. Yeah, I have three as well, so... They must have, like, what's I your... have a total of 280 fine German naval vessels. Yeah, you are, you are literally double my, <laughs> my military. Historically, the Ottomans did have an air force right now, but I don't. Well, maybe not an official air force, but they had planes. But I don't have any. I, well, I mean... I don't have artillery, though. I mean, you could you could take some designs from me. I'm, I'm not going to charge you for them. Oh, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> that's I, mean, uh, I don't have I I have precisely nothing to offer you. It's fine. As is per usual, Roach. <laughs> Who are you? What have you done with the real Roach? <laughs> Offering technology for uh, I nothing. I mean, that, I mean, that's like the normal state of being in like <laughs> any Here, situation. Well, here's me here's and my are. here's the thing though is that Roach is the instigator World War One at this point, right? And uh, Roach being in that instigating position wants to make sure that a can anybody bail me out? Thanks, Bob. That makes it, yeah. <laughs> am, am I wrong? I mean, it's 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 you know, but it's still hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it up, Buttercup. The Gaza Strip campaigns were horrible for the Kabbalah. Yeah, I know the Ottomans didn't really come out of World War One in a good place, considering it led to the destruction of the. Empire and that the could rise be said, of modern Turkey. Ben, that could be said about I'm going to say all the central all, powers. All uh, of every empire left in the world. Because, uh, you know, uh, Austria-Hungary ceased to exist and collapsed. Uh, Germany, as it was known, was cut up into multiple different countries. Uh, and uh, it's the east. Russian Empire collapsed. The Ottoman Empire collapsed. The British Empire definitely took a big downturn. I mean, oh, the United States was... made it out all right. <laughs> well, yeah, but we're, we don't have the word empire in our name, so we have plot armor. Actually, officially. around that point in time, though, uh, there was a... It, I mean, it wasn't an official thing, but uh, there was a quote-unquote American uh, uh, colonial empire because we had all those things we took from Spain during the Spanish-American War. Well, I mean... We got into the into the colonial game really late, and our colonial ambition was like, "Hey, let's grab a couple of these islands that nobody else is living on and kill some Filipinos." And boy, did we do that! I mean, we also made a pretty badass fort around Manila, the concrete battleship. Yeah, but it was. Wait, what? When did we do that? That would that would have been that would have 1910s? been 1910s. Yeah, it was around there. And it lasted. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Fort. Oh, what was it? Fort. Um... Fort useless. Not u useless. No, it actually it actually did hold out really well. It, it was, was the, like last, the last. It was last the thing. last bastion of American resistance in the Philippines during World War uh, II, during when the Japanese and then, invaded. And then when the Japanese took it, we decided that it was too tough to take, so we just we pumped gasoline, gasoline in there and burned it. Yeah, we just filled it with <laughs> gas. <laughs> That's so American. 
Well, yeah, like the Japanese spent months shelling it and bombing it, and all all they did was like knock out its anti-aircraft guns, which were just some like Ehrlichans Ur mounted on the top of it. The the actual, you know, I think they were twelve-inch guns on the thing were perfectly fine. Fourteen-inch, actually, 14 I think. Inch. For like they were um, they were battleship class guns for the time. They were in double yeah. mounts, so they had two of them. Because okay, mm -hmm. the whole reason I know this right now is because I literally looked up the Wikipedia page like I think two days ago. I I don't know why. For, just for, just for it just videos. happened. I just happened to go there. You know how you do when you're on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't have to explain it. Yeah. Um. And yeah, they never. They never touched it. They, uh, they never destroyed the guns because they were still firing. Fort drum. Fort drum. They were still firing three minutes before the surrender uh, mm -hmm. of the actual fort. So like, it was it was completely working as intended. It just, uh, yeah. they just gave, they just surrendered, uh, after I think like a couple, I don't know how long, but they, after the last, well, oh, the, the other fort, you know. cause there was, there was multiple forts in the, in the bay. Uh, and I think the day before, or the couple of days before the other fort that was still holding out, that was giving them supporting fire ceased to, uh, to be held. Like it got overran and they were the last Brigador. one. Um, yeah, and then when we when we went to take it back, the Japanese were manning it, and uh, we were like, "Well, we know that it's really tough because we built it, so they just Burned landed the fucker people on to the top ground. of it." Yeah, they just landed people on top of it and poured, you know, like fifty-five gallon drums full of gasoline down every hole and threw a match in it. It was uh, it was uh, it was actually a mix of gasoline, diesel, and it was like something else. Like it was uh, so it uh, it didn't fume as much or something. But it, uh, it burned what? for multiple days. <laughs> what are my plans for the Armenians? Well, if you look closely at the map, there isn't a country called Armenia, so I don't see what the issue is. Just like if you play, I don't know, a Hearts of Iron game during World War II as Germany, you don't necessarily have control over a certain very, uh, a certain genocide that occurred. It's, the there game isn't doesn't a genocide really, button. Yeah, game doesn't really focus on that. That's what we call bad press. <laughs> okay, well, it's July 20th. That's yeah, eight days remaining. 28th? Oh, this is 28th? Okay. 28th, okay. <laughs> the Austro-Hungarian Austro military is poised on the border. And the Bulgarian military is in the barracks of Sofia, ready to move. <laughs> Soon to deep that, saving money, and poor. You're so gonna I hear that running out of bullets is a thing. Yeah, I've already I already built three extra military factories. They'll be yeah. I, I, I in a couple literally of days. just threw down three. Oh, such luxury. I I just locked out my military goods. Nobody gets to buy those. Full production. Nobody gets to buy them. Uh, that's actually a good idea. So what we'll do is we'll go, uh, lock. And yeah, I, I have it I locked so that it produces 100% of capacity all the time, and I don't have an export. German bullets for German citizens. Wait. Sell 0% of surplus. A <laughs> bullet for every man, woman, and child, Bob? <laughs> That's right. America. Um, <laughs> well, if we're talking about America, it's like 4 million bullets for every man, woman, and child. Um... We're definitely going to need more supply depots here. And I'm, I'm basically of the, like, right now I'm working under the assumption that, hey, um, I don't need to worry about my budget because everyone's going to be dead soon. And these people need to pay their taxes now rather than when they're dead. Turkey mobilized yet? Um, well, Turkey's not a thing, but uh, no, I have not mobilized yet. Oh, why Why would I? There's no conflict at the moment. There's no war. Why is... No, no matter how much those damn Russians and Serbians say that that we're poised for battle and bloodshed, it's not no, I true. I feel self-conscious about the massive troop movements in Germany. <laughs> Do we even mobilize, bro? So, are you gonna go for a Schlieffen plan, Bob? Is that your is that your uh, plan here? Well, um, I just I might just level you know French cities quite frankly if I even I, fight the French who knows I, I meant it's, your I meant your general outlook on your deployment so are you gonna have a small force on the eastern side of the country and then all your stuff in the west or is it gonna be uh the opposite very even split it's, I'm gonna have more of the cavalry in the east yeah I'm noticing cavalry 
f fucking great units to have. Like, uh, yep. well, specifically for Austria-Hungary, because, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, these things are saved my life against Serbia. I have cow. Oh, Bulgaria, too. They're so good. Oh, hey, I do have some field guns. I don't know how to make them, so I don't know where these came from. It's like Poland with the glow rocks. <laughs> we didn't dig these out. We just kind of found them lying around. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, are the glow rocks worth anything? No. Yeah, well, they're worth something. Is they're anybody... worth $12 on the market for a ton of them. All right, just sell, sell, sell Somebody's everything. Somebody's buying them because I'm trading yeah. 401, so. I'm trading about two. Which one of you motherfuckers has the reactor? Top importer, <laughs> Belgium. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, there's so crazy stuff. He's the only importer. Duck. Dastardly Southern Dutch. If you go, again. if you go to the to the World Statistics for Uranium, he's the only one importing any type of uranium. I wonder if that. Yep. I wonder Better Belgium. I wonder if that means it's a copy and paste job, and he actually has a nuclear reactor. That would be funny. <laughs> Hold on, I didn't see one. Are we sure there isn't a nuclear reactor in somewhere in here? Because that would be that would be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> let me send some people to Toronto. I'll let you know. Alrighty, let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't look yeah, like not it. Seeing any. Not seeing any, but that doesn't mean it's not here. It's <laughs> <laughs> Russia supports for Serbia. <laughs> Interesting. Secret nuclear program. That's hilarious. <laughs> Well, there actually no. There is a technology you could get. You can research right now called isotope thing. Uh, isotope. Have, that's principles. a very very modern looking tank I've got rolling through Hamburg right now. Well, let's go look at it. <laughs> look at that thing. It's got an M60 on top of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. A what's mark of what's to come. what's sticking out of its butt, Bob? That's that's. There's some towed artillery, like proper oh, towed artillery, oh, like on top of it. Oh, it's uh yeah, it's uh. It's riding some artillery into battle. I, I have towed artillery towing artillery. <laughs> <laughs> That's how meta my artillery is. I, I love the, the, the guy with the pickle hub uh, standing right next to the, like, leopard modern battle tank or whatever that is. We yeah, it's 32 time. minutes. Yeah. It's 32 minutes. All right. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. We should like, comment, subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you're on Twitch, remember to follow and subscribe there as well to all of our various Twitch channels for those who are streaming. That's not Roach. Everybody else is, though. Pretty sure, right? <laughs> Call I me am. out. Because just... <laughs> you right. make a point of saying it whenever we talk about streaming. <laughs> Do it yourself, buddy. Do it yourself. And go check out our Patreon page to like support with more than just a view, and we'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.